Good day, good day everyone. Welcome back to some more what will be puzzle combat tournament action, but I've uh, just got to do a little bit of housekeeping to start with. Um, so just want to let you guys all know that uh, there will be a little bit of a drop off in the prevalence of some of the material going up onto my channel uh, over the next couple of weeks. It's going to be probably most notable on the hero review series. Um, I've just got some busy times at work and, and off on uh, a holiday to go see a concert um so yeah it'll be probably towards the end of february that things will start picking up towards where they have been recently but i will still be endeavoring to do as many of my tournament and raid hits and i might even be able to get in some miscellaneous uh raid team and hero showcases but yeah we'll probably won't see as many hero review videos going up um as what we have been seeing recently but anyway um, today's video is about the tournament. So we are up to day four of the current five-star charged attack uh, tournament. Um, so we've done okay. We've gotten one loss so far. Um, and that loss was on the back of having to flee. I ran out of time um, to do my attacks for day two. Um, so subsequently got to a healing loop on the defense team. And yeah, I was like, nah. I got to get out, got to get out, got to finish off the rest of the attack. So, yeah, but otherwise we've been doing quite well. And my defense team has also done quite well. Um, so we've stuck with A grade on day three. Um, so that's another 900 points to my tally, which is awesome. Um, so we'll just see how it goes for the remaining two days. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in the thoughts on my defense team, uh, check out day one's video. Uh, link is in the description. But otherwise let's crack into some attacks so where we left off yesterday uh this was the last attack team i'd use um this team though i am 100 percent just going to plonk me mate krampus straight into this team um so yeah to quickly recap some of the the weird setup here so dragon fist has the speed node um, so that is why he's got the Ragnarok Vantage. Um, in charged attack, it, it needs plus seven to speed break from the base 65 speed. So um, the Ragnarok Vantage, the Trailblazer SVK, these only give, um, sorry, the Bargo Relic Hunter, they only give plus six. Um, so in order to use a plus six weapon and speed break, you need the 2% node um or four percent as the case may be so unfortunately you can see nima she's not all the way up uh, neither are mevanaya and uh either of the mevanayas uh so nima needs the plus seven tris vector um which is yes it's a four star weapon but it speed breaks her so i don't really care about the loss of a second perk um and krampus will just give the b92 seeing as that's a plus nine gun um yeah, green is in a very unfortunate situation where there is no um, plus seven speed guns, um, none at all. There's no plus nines either. The best is a plus six, which is on the Relic Hunter Bargo. So off the bat with this fight, I've got a purple grenade that I'm going to make. So we'll just get rid of the yellows, pick up the purple grenade, um, some bonus yellow tiles as well as some greens um, and the purples as well. So. We're in a good position to start off with. I will just, I suppose I'll just steal the counter attack and start charge blocking. Where are we gonna charge block? I think this side. And then I'm just gonna take the purple tiles and drop them on to second one. So I'm gonna hold off on using those purples, um, sorry, the Krampus because I would like to try to trigger both. Yes, okay, cool, this is good. So I'm gonna get both of the Hypernovas um, and we're gonna steal both of their buffs. So we'll just do that real quick. Um, so now I've gotten both of their damage over time, uh, sorry, their three turn delayed damage. Um, we've also stolen the damage share, which will even out some of Vision's damage here. Um, and we still unfortunately have not been able to charge a single Mervanaya yet, so hopefully this will get us there. Um, unfortunately, Nima did charge, which means, whoop, there we go, that's a bit of damage. Nima did charge, which means that the two, um, the two yellow heroes are immune to the mindless attack at this point in time, um, but that's okay. We'll just punch away with Dragon Fist, um, and then the two Mervanayas, they still deal damage, 
um, even if they can't charge block charge block him. Um, so now it's just down to Vision. Uh, 5v1, Vision should lose this from here, but you never know, stranger things have happened, but I don't think this one is going to be one of those situations. Finish with Dragon Fist. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right, so that sort of shows the shorter shows sort of shows the power of Krampus. Um, Flow is also a very good option uh, for this sort of thing. I'd probably say Krampus is better because he gets rid of the ailments. Um, but yeah, Flow is a very good hero as well to do pretty well the same thing. So I don't. Uh, there is Venus, but there's some buffs and ailments. I think I'm going to stick with it. Um, I was considering, because of Venus, changing over to include uh, Ramhorn in this team, but elected to stick with what I've got. Um, Alright, I think Ayumi is going to fire before I even get Krampus ready. So that's that. No, okay, I'm going to have Krampus ready. That's good. So now I can, if I can trigger Crockett as well, that would be the best scenario. But it's going to be too close, I think. Let's just try it and see if we can pinch Crockett as well. do this and I think I'm going to charge control here um, all right I would have liked to have had a Mevanaya charged but we have not been blessed with too many green tiles unfortunately and now unfortunately Venus is gonna go do a fair whack of healing um, so hopefully a I was going to say, hopefully Ayumi kills herself there. Um, he came pretty close to it. Uh, where's his hit? Okay, good. That's good. Doesn't seem good, but it is good because it wasn't um, Mare Vinaya and it also wasn't Krampus, which are the main two that I was wanting to, to keep um, alive there. All right, nothing much I can do for this, but I do need Mev and I are charged. Like, badly needed her charge there. So, we're in a bit better position now than we were a turn or two back. Um, now we've at least got um, Mindless Attack out once. Um, I would have liked to have kept Dragon Fist for one more cast um, of his skill, but that's alright. Um, green tiles are actually quite difficult to come by in this fight, I'm gonna be honest. They're not, um, not as prevalent as I would have liked. Um, Alright, let's, I would, I really would like to get rid of Crockett here. Um, right, let's do this, then this, and then that. Um, oh, no. Mm, thanks, Venus. She's just given them all um, immunity to status effects for three turns, which is annoying because it means I can't refresh the... Um, Mindless attack ailment from from uh, Mervanaya, but yeah, managed to outlast it without charging her. And then this is a much better position now. So we've got this one pretty well wrapped up. Um, so we'll just pop all those green tiles. We'll keep the mind mindless attack charged on on Emerald there. Um, <laughs> Evaded her own attack and gave herself 20% charge. Hmm. That one's a bit... That one's a little bit hinky, but anyway. All right. Two done. Three to go. Zin with a yellow tank invariant Pika. 
that the variant notes the normal format. I think we keep the team to be honest. Because we can still steal Pika variance buffs. We can still return some ailments from from um what's his name? Powell. Alright. Not the best move, but it's going to work out okay, hopefully. Cool. That was what I was hoping for. I was hoping not to charge. Um, all right, let's steal that. And then let's... Oh, I maybe could have played that a bit better. Oh, well. We'll do it this way instead. Cool. This should pretty well charge most of their skills. Um... <laughs> Let's do this onto Ghost. And then we can go. <laughs> Scrabbled. Um, I think I double tap this side because this purple. Yeah. I was going to say, I think the, even if the direct damage didn't kill him from the tiles, I had the special skill that would have probably killed. All right. Um, this one's pretty much done as well. I've had a decent run, to be honest. Um, one of those boards was quite nasty, but. For the most part, they've actually been fairly cooperative so far. Which means I'm probably expecting this next one to be an absolute nightmare. Hello, Fearless. Um, here's an, an ally mate of mine, or an old ally mate. So, I don't know if I actually change anything, to be honest. Um, I'm guessing it's the variant form which has counter-attack. And then it's the variant form of face off, which is taunt and counter attack. So I think. I think we just go for it. Double whack is a little bit nasty. Um, Alright, we'll take the purples and then we'll go yellows to line up the greens to line up the greens. Um, I need. One more purple match, so we may as well just take it. That'll get me Krampus charged. So you can have that back. And then that's both M. Oh, no, they're not. Oh. I forgot that ailment shield is non removable. Um, that's problematic because if I fire, don't shoot, don't shoot, ha, ah. damn it, ah, uh, that's unideal, I was really contemplating putting, doing this and copying the mail unless attack, but at least killing Doodle off, but, ah, Oh dear, that's pretty much the worst possible outcome. I think this is another zero pointer. An actual zero pointer this time. Um, there's literally nothing I can do from here. Damn it, Doodle. And why did you whack have to target all three of them? If you targeted the other side, we would have at least gotten. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. What a dumb thing. Sometimes I really question this AI targeting business. <laughs> because if it hadn't have targeted Dragon Fist with Whack, and it had have targeted any of the other four heroes, or the other three heroes on the left side, Dragon Fist would have been enough to kill Doodle as well as take a chunk off the charge of Variant Hairwear. And then it would have been enough to last one turn more out to get double Mare Vanaya charged. But we didn't get that opportunity, unfortunately. Oh well. Maybe I should have just taken... I didn't do it, but the other thing I was considering, as I said in that, was just double tapping Doodle with both Mare Vanaya's. Um, 
which would have come close to killing killing him. Or it would have killed him, but I would have gotten the mindless attack element that I got anyway. So, yeah, that's a little annoying. Particularly because, yeah, as I said, if, if Dragon Fist had not been targeted, I'm fairly confident that I could have won that fight. Like, I'm pretty confident that I would have won. But... Dragon Fist was targeted, and unfortunately, I lost. Um, anyway, on this fight, I stole the buffs that um, Walker gave out. I then returned with Mindless Attack on everyone. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll give you... We'll steal your healing buff, Richter, and you can just have nothing. Cool. Cool. So now we're just waiting out this revive. Oh, man, that's disappointing. I I don't know. It's disappointing. Oh, we're up to three. Do we get four? Four. Do we get a fifth? No, no fifth. <laughs> 30% my ass. Oh, well. Uh, disappointing loss to Fearless. Um, but it is what it is. We're still top 1%. Two losses isn't too bad. Um, I don't know. I don't think we'll stay. Where are we? 33rd. So, drop down yesterday. If you remember, I was, I think, 11th at the end of the fights. Um, so, we have dropped down a little more on the back of that second loss. So, yeah, as I said, if this whack had not attacked Dragon Fist, maybe, maybe, maybe not. But, you know, I reckon I probably would have come close to winning it. But,. Anyway, that's all I actually have for today. Um, as I said at the start of the video, I apologize. My content might wind down for uh, the next couple of weeks, uh, particularly the hero review videos. But otherwise, I'll keep trying to upload stuff as much as I can. But until next time, stay safe, good luck, and happy gaming. Cheers. Bye.